In this video, I'm going to show you how I revive my old Toy Story toys with replacement parts sent directly from the toy company that made them. Let's go. What's up guys, I am ZW and a few weeks ago, I bought a bunch of Toy Story toys. Most of them I bought secondhand from eBay and some of them do not have any boxes or accessories. And one of them is this signature collection Jessie. She has been used, her leggings are flaking, she is not in good condition but she does come with her hat which is the reason why I got her in the first place. However, I am missing her stand. Well, not anymore. This box came directly from Thingway Toys in Canada. I don't know why I keep thinking they were based in the UK but it's actually a Canadian company. Is that why they are so nice sending parts out for free? They sent this on 8th of November and I got it one week later on the 15th. That was really fast. Well, let's unbox. Yeah, but signature collection Jessie stand. It's brand new, it looks really nice. Does it fit my Jessie? Yeah, perfect fit. But why and how did I get this? It's all because of this Toy Story Collection RC antenna. For my Toy Story Collection, RC. I bought it on eBay for about 150 including the remote but the antenna is broken so I did some research and I stumbled upon this. Apparently you can request for replacement parts directly from Thingway's customer service. Totally free but you have to pay for postage and I dug around a little more and I found out you can request for a bunch of different parts ranging from Buzz Lightyear replacement helmets, woody hat and holsters, Mr. Corridor head parts and even certificates or if you're brave enough entire lower half of bus like you. What the f right? And they have been offering this service for years, like at least two years back. It seems that you will need to show a proof of purchase from a retailer in order to qualify. But there's no way someone kept the receipt for their RC from 10 years ago. Heck, I don't even think they kept the boxes. And they must be kicking themselves right now. So how did I get these parts if I had bought it from eBay and not a retailer? This is what happened. I sent an email on 3rd of November asking if they still have replacement parts for RC and a Rex tail. To which they replied that they do not have Rex's tail but they could send me the antennas and I will have to pay for shipping with my master credit card via an email. That sounds so sketchy and risky. I was worried and reluctant. I was thinking maybe I don't need the antenna. It's not really a deal breaker. But I bought this. The ship is a replacement part. I have to get it. Because I also found a bow pit without her ship and I've scoured through the entire internet for a loose sheet but no one is selling it. No one. Well now I don't have to because apparently Thingway sells them but not just to anyone. Because according to Anna Collector, instead of a receipt, you now need to provide a photo proof that you actually own a bow pit. Which makes sense because they want to make sure that you are an actual collector trying to complete your collection instead of someone who's trying to sell the parts for profit. So I send them this picture and requested for both a Jesse stand and a replacement ship. And the price was USD $40 for all of them shipped. But Jennifer also offered me a tracking option at $52. And being an extremely paranoid collector, I would rather pay a little more than risk losing my package. So I opted for the tracking option. But that's not the end. Is it really safe to divulge your credit card information via an email? Well, according to another collector, they tried using a debit card instead of a credit card and succeeded. Also, instead of a MasterCard, a Visa card seems to work as well. So I thought it's worth a try because using a debit card is different from using a credit card. Using a debit card means you are spending money directly from your bank account and the amount you risk losing if your information were to be late, touch wood, would basically be the amount in that bank account. And paying with a credit card means that there is no limit so to speak because you are paying for it at the end of the month. So I went for the debit card method. In Singapore, there are apps with what they call a wallet where you top up money and spend from there to gain some sort of benefit like cashback or whatever. So I decided to use this app called Singtel Dash and they have a virtual Visa debit card that I can use for online purchases. I don't have a debit card. You can get one immediately. Use Dash. 
the idea is I top up $100 to this wallet and I can purchase with it and even if my information is leaked all I lose is the amount remaining after I make the purchase what a brilliant plan if only it works she said and I quote our machines do not accept debit cards so I discussed this matter with my brother and I was like there are some things I want to buy but I can only get it from the company you can't get it from anywhere else like the antenna and, and the ship yes I got the ship obviously and he was like it's good they didn't ask for the CVV so it's probably safe right what CVV the CVV is a three or four digit code that is printed on your credit card as a fraud prevention measure. The goal is for the merchant to verify that you are the card holder and you have the physical card with you. Well, the thing is, it's not that I don't trust Thingway. It's more like I do not know how secure their email is. If someone were to hack their email, would our information be leaked? If my card details are leaked, can the hacker use my card without a CVV? Most of the online transactions would require a CVV. But what if it's a company like Thingway who accepts payment without CVV? Honestly, I don't know. It might be me being paranoid again. But these are legit questions. And if you know the answer to it, leave a comment below. In the end, all the parts arrive safe and sound. RC got his antenna, Jessie got her stand, and Bo Peep got her sheep. And they even sent a letter hoping that you fix your toy. We hope the revived toy will continue to bring you lots of fun. Aww. Overall, it's such a wholesome experience. It's just that one thing about a credit card that is bugged. But basically, if you want to request for replacement parts, you will need a picture to prove that you have the toy, and a MasterCard credit card to pay for the shipping. That's it. You will need to assess if it's worth the risk to purchase something via email and that is for you to decide. And now after removing all the screws from RC, let's see how we can replace the antenna. There are quite a lot of screws you need to remove before you can take apart RC. Two over here, four, six, eight, and ten. You can ignore that screw with the triangle head, it's not important. You need to remove another four screws that are connecting to the wheels. Two over here and another two here. Now you can take them apart, but be careful not to snap any of the wires. The antenna is secured over here. So after removing another two screws, this is what you have. Simply remove the green base, separate the red ring, remove this red fastener, which was quite tight for me, so be patient. And basically reverse the process for the new antenna. But you will need to slot the antenna into the body first before placing all the parts back. Secure it with the two screws again and you have yourself a brand new RC. Thanks to everyone from the Facebook group for sharing their own experiences. I hope this is useful to anyone trying to fix their old toys. Please do not exploit this service. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.